James Wan is James the wine guy, the top tier wine from Concha y Toro. Now this is called Don Melchor. You know, this is uh, an occasion that I bring out the big bad boy Bordeaux glass. So uh, stay tuned for this review. For me, I love this uh, producer, uh, I, and I love the top tier Don Melchor. This is a fantastic, beautiful wine, and uh, I think it's a really sublime wine. So the 2011, 2010, as well as the 2009 vintages. I'll place those videos right up here. So here's what we have before us now. This is Don Melchor, uh, Puente Alto Vineyard, Cabernet Sauvignon 2012 vintage. The DO is Puente Alto, 14.5% ABV. Now here's the back label. Now this is, I'll just read some copy here, maybe hard to read. Uh, Don Melchor comes from the 313 Puente Alto Vineyard, planted on the rocky soils of the foot of the Andes Mountains on the Maipo River, oldest alluvial terraces. This area has been established as one of the most famous places for Cabernet Sauvignon production in the world. And it says, uh, and I'll read the last sentence, the uh, Bocino family of Bordeaux has participated in the final blending of Don Melchor since the beginning of this project and it's led by the renowned winemaker Enrique Terrado. This wine is 93% Cabernet Sauvignon and 7% Cabernet Franc. It is really sublime, beautiful, gorgeous. And um, you know, I think I taste a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon and I love the variety and one where I find great excitement when it comes and well produced from Chile. I think Chile is uh, in, in many ways, obviously it's a, the discovered wine country, uh, but when it comes to the finer tiers, I think there's still room for discovery. I think this is a really top uh, shelf uh, Cabernet Sauvignon you're gonna find anywhere not just for Chile for me that's my trumpet call is to really call that out I think it's you know fantastically sublime in terms of its structure it's so the coloration is beautiful that uh, mid uh, coloration of stained glass cathedral stained glass window and uh, I think it's really uh, one that I think holds up in terms of its uh, construction weight complexity and when you taste this, I think even on a blindfold, you know you're tasting Don Melchor. I, I really enjoy this wine. With I'm on a dry age steak with this wine, I think it's really uh, fantastically done. Uh, the acid on this is just going to pair well with that protein and the fat of the beef. Uh, you can enjoy this on its own, but I think in terms to uh, optimize that experience is to enjoy with food, with rich proteins. I have seen pictures of the Puente Alto vineyard site. It is really, uh, you know, one of these sites where it has a great relationship to the Andes Mountains. Why that's important is that uh, you have the alluvial soils, and to me that's a relationship from hillside, and uh, over time bringing some of those stones down and a great way of uh, drainage for the Cabernet Sauvignon and it's been described as terrible soil, but in many ways for wine grapes, it's a fantastic soil composition. So uh, here we go first with the point score, 94 points out of 100 points, uh, really sublime. In this big bad boy uh, shot Faisal glass, which I love, um, you know, really handles this wine extremely well, and you don't want something too uh, narrow uh, in terms of scope to enjoy this wine to get that aeration. And I think that's really the key here. I don't have a lot of different silhouettes because I don't believe in a lot of them, but I definitely have this Cabernet for special wines like this. So uh, scent characterization on this wine includes um, blackberry, tayberry, suede, cardamom, and moist forest during autumn time. Gorgeous. A nice composition of fruit, blackberry, strawberry, a bit of tayberry, earth, white pepper, bay leaf, spices, rose petal, and marjoram. Again, 94 points out of 100 points. More information will be listed down below on this producer and this wine. And again, I'll put all the other videos of the past three vintages that I've been privileged to taste right up here. So this is a great wine for those Q4 special dinners that you wanna have in the evening time and to enjoy with an ensemble of great foods. Protein rich foods like uh, beef, aged beef is one of my favorite things to go to for this wine. So thank you for watching again. Let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Stay tuned for more. Sante and salud.